I am applying a wall epoxy. This is wall resin. Now all this is is 99% isopropyl alcohol mixed with our metallic powders. This is our product. We do a lot of backsplashes, shower walls. That's epoxy. It's like peanut butter. If you can see this, I am going to wipe this on the wall here today and we are going to get epoxy. I try to work as close to my wall as possible. And like I say, I'm an epoxy guy. I'm not necessarily a wall expert. So try not to judge me on all my application methods. I'm a huge fan of Venetian plaster and all plasters basically, but I like this because it's a lot more durable and waterproof. However, I'm not your, just because I know how to use epoxy doesn't mean I'm the best wall applicator on the planet. So I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice one glove and use a little plastic putty knife, get everything out of the pail, just like all epoxy. This still has a pot life, so just because it's not set up yet doesn't mean you don't want to get it on that wall. Um, as soon as you get it spread out like that, the wall actually keeps it a little bit cooler. So it's not going to get really hot like it would if you were to just leave it in the bucket. We could trowel this right into a shower wall, um, a wet space that's totally impervious to moisture, very damage resistant. Um, it's, you're not going to scratch it easily. Um, so I always try to see if my trowel has what I call a belly on it, that that belly is towards the wall so that the edges of the trowel aren't scraping the wall. And I always try to work from the bottom up and then I try to run all my edges. So I take my time to really work my edges in. And I probably should have masked the sidewall off, but I am probably gonna do something with it anyways. And I'm gonna work on just seeing just how good I can cut this in. So I will do my best. You can apply this to anything. It'll bond to any brick or stone or tile. You might use more or less product based on what your end result you're looking for. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to apply it to where it goes on the wall, if that makes sense. And then I'll come back over it and start cross troweling and trying to smooth it out. But my first, the majority of the work is just get it close to where you know it's gonna go. I'm starting to move right to left on this wall. And I'm gonna, as soon as I get a good pass here, I'm gonna jump on the ladder and continue moving down the wall on top, up above. I can work it at this temperature for a total of about 45 minutes before it'll become unworkable. Smooth wall, 100 square feet, um, goes down to 40 or 50, depending on just how coarse and rough of a wall you're trying to fill in. So but it's still very inexpensive per square foot as far as a coating for what you get out of it. Now all this is is 99% isopropyl alcohol mixed with our metallic powders. The smoothness and the speed you pull it at has a lot to do with the final look. So, so if you don't want chatters, watch this. I'm going to pull a little too fast. See how it chattered? If you slow down, you're going to dip in and cut and make a chop line. So just making sure that every stroke per se is nice and even and steady that you're pulling top to bottom or bottom to top in the same direction in an even manner. Just be thoughtful of that. Just how you move, how fast you move, that you don't stop, you're not jerky.
Now, every pass I make over this wall, even with other colors and whatnot, it's gonna get smoother and smoother and you'll see less and less. And if I wanna really get this wall perfect, I would most likely come back on this with even a clear alcohol, a clear epoxy in about two hours. And I'd apply a really thin layer over this. And instead of sanding a spot like that out or compressing it with a trowel, your next layer would be way thinner, so less likely to leave a line, but it would compress that right in and it wouldn't allow your trowel to stick to this layer.